Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Akash Kalra and I am back with another video. I remember I was probably in the 10th standard when I read in the newspaper for the very first time that the job of a data scientist will be the sexiest job of the 21st century. And ever since then there has been an exponential increase in the demand for people who have the skill set to be a successful data scientist. So in this video I am going to lay out the seven must have skills to become an exceptional data scientist. You ready? Okay, here we go. Skill number one, mathematics. I absolutely cannot proceed to talk about the technicalities before emphasizing on the core. And the core of every data science problem is a mathematics problem. If you dislike mathematics, you should probably rethink your ambition to become a data scientist like right now. Because to deal with the issues that a data scientist faces, you will be required to have a deep understanding of linear algebra and calculus concepts. With expertise in mathematics, building statistical models is also easier. With skills in both overarching mathematical concepts and specialized knowledge in statistics, you can get moving in the world of data science pretty quickly. Skill number two, proficiency in programming languages and database management. Okay, so this one is pretty obvious. However, it is absolutely necessary. With the programming language, you can manipulate the data and apply certain algorithms to come up with meaningful insights. The programming language used in data science is mainly Python and R. Mastering both of them will certainly help you out, but Python is an absolute must. This is because Python is a versatile language that is most commonly used in data science due to the presence of a large number of data science libraries that optimize the work of data scientists. Along with that, you should have a strong understanding of OOPs. Adding to that, you should also have expertise in SQL and other database management systems. Think logically, in order to examine and study any data set, you must have the ability to understand the functioning of the database from where you're retrieving the data in the first place. Got it? So you should only move on to higher complexity issues once you have crossed over these particular milestones. Cool? Skill number three, machine learning. Machine learning, as the name suggests, is the process of making machines intelligent. Give machines the ability to think, analyze and make decisions. By building precise machine learning models, an organization has a better chance of identifying profitable business opportunities. An aspiring data scientist is expected to have a good understanding, a working algorithm and an ability to implement various supervised and unsupervised algorithms to the machine learning model. So the topics that you must know under machine learning consist of supervised ML algorithms, unsupervised ML algorithms, natural language processing, and bias variance trade-off. Skill number four, data visualization. Now data visualization in my opinion is probably the most underrated and yet perhaps one of the most important parts of data analysis. It has always been important to present data in a visually appealing format. Data scientists have to master data visualization in order to communicate better with the end users. You see, People who are business stakeholders, they don't have the facilities to understand the technicalities of the backend. And you can use tools like Tableau, Power BI and Python libraries like Seaborn, Plotlib, Matplotlib, ggplot that facilitate data visualization. Now speaking of business, the fifth skill that every data scientist must have is business acumen. To be a data scientist, you'll need a solid understanding of the industry you're working in and know what problems your business is trying to solve. In terms of data science, being able to identify the problems that are important to solve for businesses is critical. In addition to that, a data scientist should be also be able to identify new ways the businesses should be leveraging its data. You see, data right now is probably more valuable than oil. You'll only be successful if your mining equipment is better than the rest. Skill number six, data wrangling and data exploration. Often the data you're analyzing is messy and is, it's difficult to deal with. Because of this, it's really important to know how to deal with the imperfections in the data. So you have to clean and unify the messy and complex data sets for easy access and analysis. 
This process is called data wrangling. Data wrangling is so essential that it sometimes take up to 80% of the data scientist's time and leaves only the remaining 20% for modeling and exploration. And speaking for, of exploration, the exploration data analysis or EDA is the first step in your data analysis process. Here you make sense of the data you have and then figure out the questions you want to ask, how to frame them and how to manipulate your available data sources to get the answers. You can do this by taking a broad look at patterns, trends, outliers and unexpected results and so on. And finally, skill number seven, data extraction, transformation and loading. Now suppose we have multiple data sources like MySQL, MongoDB, Firebase, Google Analytics. You should have the ability to extract data from all of these sources. Now, as a data scientist, you should extract all of these data from different sources and put them in a staging area. At the staging area, you should be able to transform the data to store it in a proper format or a structure for the purposes of querying and analysis. And finally, you have to load the data in a data warehouse where you will analyze the data. Extraction, transformation and loading or ETL helps companies to analyze their businesses data for making critical business decisions. Transactional databases cannot answer complex businesses questions and that can be answered by ETL. Moreover, a data warehouse provides a common data repository. So guys, these were the seven skills that every data scientist must have. I would urge you all to go to Geeks for Geeks and read on about all of these skills that I've mentioned in this video in detail. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you guys soon.